Yo, what's up guys? This is Plan here from Goodberg Production and I'm here to uh, uh, make a reaction video to the invitation cancelled. I just woke up, you know, I went to work. I've been working so hard this fucking week. The reason for that is because it's Christmas and I need money, you know. We all need some money and um, yeah, I have, I have bills to pay to be honest. You know, fucking struggling so bad. And um... I'm sorry that I can't, you know, make any um, uh, videos. But hey, this weekend though, try to visit my profile, my my YouTube channel because I'm post couple of beats for free, exclusive. It means you can download it and then you can make profit on it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna send a link. So it's gonna be like a mix of multiple beats and then just go directly to soundcloud when you can uh download the bits that you want so there's time frame you know the time uh, cues you know because it's like five beats in one music so you can check out because if you once you download it you know i had to delete it because you know if you want to make profit on it you know it's ex exclusive it means i'm your producer and then you own you own the beat with you know with unlimited copies so it means like as long as you gave me the, the the rights that I am your producer you can sell million of dollars from it you can perform at radio station concert I'm not gonna sue you you know all right so but anyway let me just get this one untasted because I haven't eaten for fucking two days because I'm fucking broke as shit I'm just drinking the water and my acid is fucking killing me but anyway here we go let's get it with Nick and on the invitation cancelled and I hope it's popping let's get it let's minimize the volume so it's not hurting my ear if ever here we go but anyway guys don't forget to like subscribe on my channel and put the notification bell please you know I need the subs and like this and share it if you guys like it you know let's get it boom oh, oh yeah top. it ain't over motherfucker there's a line on there that ice cube you know, was a little here's what they think harsh. about you here's what they think about you know, a, a big cross because he has a fucking a studio he's he's in his studio thinking about it cause think about this you know you're you're against the best rapper lyricist in the world what you gonna do and you know you can't defeat him on fucking uh rap game what are you gonna do i bet he can sleep at night because all the bash things you know bashers and fucking people like telling him clowning him clowning him and all the shit that's just going through and he's being depressed and stressed you know and it's good though that um his kid dissing Eminem continuously to show like hey you know what ain't no stopping you know I'm not gonna go back down because some fool says like I'm not, I'm not gonna get it and I think that takes some balls you know I'm now I'm giving props to Nick you know I think his past music is shit but now I'm getting giving him props for the effort you know it gotta be consistent you know here's what they think about you. here's what they think about you. Here's what they think about. 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 Here's what they think you guys you know for all you guys doesn't know this goes deeper beyond your imagination this is way way back you know we have built way way back because of mariah let me be honest let me just say this before i started this you know what i'm saying eminem and mariah has something going on they're supposed to collab and what happened is like after a couple of months they separated you know and you know, I think Eminem is saying the truth that he actually F Mariah, but because Mariah trying to protect her image, she doesn't want to fucking say it in public, you know, and for that, it it, it shattered Eminem, it 
you know he feels like he's disgusting you know he feels like what the fuck like what do you think about me you think i'm a fucking uh you know like a nobody it doesn't exist like we did this thing now eminem is coming and confronting mariah about that and mariah doesn't like that you know but if you think about it any person in this world hate liars if you lie we'll fucking hate you man like no everybody you know that you you fucking hate liars you hate liars everybody hate liars man if you actually said like hey eminem you know, we, I don't, you know, if you, if you got interviewed and said, like, you know, I don't fuck with him, you know, we're just friends, but we, we didn't, there's no physical contact. And when she said that, she, if she actually go to fucking Eminem and called him and, you know, Em, I'm sorry, you know, Marshall, I'm sorry, you know, I had to do this because I'm trying to protect my image. As a man, we appreciate that, you know, but if you just blobbing about, you know, that's nothing happened and shit, you know. Like Eminem has an ego, you know. For his, if you think about his background, all the women in his life fucked him up. His mom, his wife, everybody, you know. So the only thing that he values is Haley. So, you know, when Mariah came in her in his life, he valued, he trusted her, you know. He valued Mariah, and for that thing to happen, it's just shameful. Like. He feels sad and devastated and I think because of that you know he it's hard for him to move on because you know for some reason when you encounter Mariah and you trusted this woman and you fall in love with this woman and this woman betrayed you at any some point like it breaks your heart you know and I don't know what happened she goes with Nick all of a sudden like what's that Nick is just a rebound and having a kiss for I don't get it so let's just get it sorry for all the talking all right, I go. Like in a sort of eight mile battle contest with Nick Cannon. Bring his whistle, really think about it. When wow. you feel some swag pressure right now, because it's on, baby. Is it on? I think it's going to be on. I think, I think you and him will have to go. I mean, I understand if he, Nick Cannon is trying to, like, you know, trying to say, hey, Mariah is my wife, you know. Mariah is your wife. I'm trying to protect the my baby mama. But you're too late, man. You're too late. Even though you go all the way to uh, Detroit back in the day and say like, "Oh, I'm trying to fucking, you know, fuck Eminem up." I'm, I went to Detroit looking his manager. Man, bro, you gotta be sport. You know, like this. You here's the thing that people doesn't understand. You guys are celebrities. You know, this is fucking business. When you go to this fucking business, the show business, this shit is fucking dirty. You know what I'm saying? So if you actually go somewhere else and trying to fucking ask them to fight, you're fucking a loser, man. You gotta have some balls and fucking keep it to yourself. You know, be a man enough to fucking ignore that shit because Eminem is a psychopath. You know? If you can do that, then you have balls, you're more stronger than Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Eminem, he's born to be like that, you know? know what I'm saying? Let's check it. Here's what they think about you. Here's what they think about you. I didn't plan on taking it to that level, man. I just you, wanted to, you, you know, know what I mean? Like, I didn't want it to get to that level. It might be on the losing team. Hopefully it doesn't. But here's what they think about you. 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 Here's what they think about so he said so pretty much I think right here it's only Nick Cannon I think he's just wanna fucking do it himself like fuck everybody I'm not gonna ask for any help I'm gonna do it myself wow he put even it's most recent the fat Joe Roy the Bob I just made um uh, reaction video on this one really intense music Pat Joe congratulations you know because and great 3000 you know? here's what they think about it. 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 you know man why why did you do that man every single time like keep repeating it it wasn't you know, it wasn't like I had no idea that he was gonna take it like he took it. He took it. I had no idea that Nick Cannon was gonna start wild and wild and wild and wild. Think about it, punk. Bro, Eminem is a lyricist. He's not a fucking fighter, you know. Kevin Hart is not a fighter. He's a comedian. You know, you gotta 
it, Nick, if you think you're a fighter, bro, you gotta change your fucking mind. Man, I mean, then don't fucking, you know, be in wild enough, be in UFC, man. Like, I understand your point, you know. I think right here, what I see, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, I could be wrong, but I think right here, you're just asking for sympathy, my guy. Don't freaking, I'm Asian, look at this face. I'm not actually Asian, Pacific Island, but hey, you know, I, I can see through you, my guy. I can see it. Motherfucker. <laughs> You've been disrespecting our queens for years. Matter of fact, my, your queen. You really Who? Who? Who's your queen? Our queen, who's our queen? There's no ours. What do you mean? My queen is Madonna. Madonna, your favorite singer, Madonna. You know what I'm saying? That's my queen. If your queen and everybody's queen is Mariah, hey, don't freaking include me, my guy. <laughs> Never. Don't. Don't include me, okay? Marshall. Well, see, you're putting Eminem on the track, you know, it doesn't matter. It, but, you know, that's her, that's his, um, uh, what they call this one, like, Alter Ego. Eminem is talking, Alter Ego. You know, every rapper has their Alter Ego. Ep Nicki Minaj has Alter Ego. Every single artist has Alter Ego, you know. They can say whatever they want to say as long as, you know, it's an art form. You know, whatever they want to say. You know, people will address that, you know, he's gonna say that, but he knows the consequence of his action, you know. But let's get it. What? 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 Guess in his house? Who's the guest in his house? Eminem's guest? Are you referring to Lord Jamar? Come on now, my guy. Bro, bro, hip hop originated. It's not even originated, you know? It's a movement, it's not an ideology. It was created, you know, it was an experiment. You know why did I say that? It's because people will say like, oh, this is the creator of hip hop. Hip hop is, for me, in my own perspective, it's an experiment, you know. When the DJ in New York City created this shit on turntables, they're actually using the disco music and get all the break on that disco music and just use it. People are doing break dancing on that, you know what I'm saying? And now they created a break dancing. But in reality, they're using a disco music. Now tell me, is disco music hip hop? No, but they're actually using some part of that, right? So it's actually an experiment, an experimentation. That's why it's a movement, it's not an ideal ideology. Ideology is that you stick on one idea, and that from idea, you, that's an absolute. You follow that pattern. But a movement constantly changing, you know, to fit on that environment. Hip-hop back in the day is super different, and it becomes different every era because it's a movement. Do you understand? What the fuck are you saying guest? Who's guest? Everybody can be right here. You, if you check out the video back in the day, you will see Latinos, African American, American. You will see half Asian, Asian on the New York. New York City is diverse, my guy. Don't forget that. Let's get it. Wow. He's trying to actually, what he's trying to do is like pack his lyrics with a lot of um, like uh, thoughts, what he can say on Eminem. But here's the thing though. Nick, you're not a rapper. You gotta construct bars, man. DNA, everything. Like, I mean, it's easily to skip. I don't know. I can't digest anything. It's not, it doesn't have any replay value. 
But if you construct a music, make sure you, it has a replay value. Like, I'm gonna go back and shit. Like, man, like, it's so direct. You know, it's so direct. My bad. It's so direct. Let's go. Please, you racist, I see why you hate us, pretend you love us, but you really jealous, wanna be brothers and Christopher Columbus, hip hop, what you discovered, now I'm a slave. Hip hop was, what? Man, man, I'm getting tired with these people, man, people claiming their own shit, think about it, man. Bro, I'm just gonna be straightforward, my guy. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be straightforward, man. If you think, if you claim like few black people or black people is being super straightforward that claiming that hip hop is theirs, is their culture and shit like that, they own it, nobody will have to fucking fuck with it because it's isolated for them, you know, it's only solely for them. Man, white people discovered fucking plane. Why did they say like, hey, black people can fucking ride the plane? White, black people can't can't use a skateboard because it's a white people's uh, freaking uh, culture. You know? Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you guys understand what I'm trying to say right now? Huh? Come on now. I mean, let's go, man. For start moving on and forget about the fact that back in the day, you know, black people are are uh, slaves you know you guys are no slaves no more you guys are given the chance to move forward man i know it's super bitter and uh, in the philippines we've been concord be being invaded by three different race and countries treat us as slaves and shit for almost 350 years 270 years we moved on from that you know what i'm saying you already fight for your freedom. We fought for our freedom. We're here now. We're fucking happy as shit, you know? Move forward. What I'm trying to say, man. Forget this shit, shit. Forget this message that, you know, racism or freaking... We gotta forget that on our fucking textbook, dictionary or whatever, man. Because it's not healthy for you. Young black kids are listening to this. And remembering this stuff, and you're passing on the hate. My guy, let's get it. You Listen, I'm gonna say it now. I'm gonna say it now, man. Right now, Nick, you're just asking for sympathy. You don't have to put that. Black goes a bit. You don't have to put that. You don't have to put that. It's just that you're asking for black people to support you because Eminem said those things that is like 10,000 years ago. <laughs> like real talk, my guy. You gotta grow up. You gotta grow up. I mean, I support you for... Uh, consistently releasing this track it's just making sure that you have balls and you're consistent and you're a man of your word but man keep it real so but you just lost one black girls are bitches black you be a cat in this house but now you can't so sorry just for Rosa and Coretta Masada and Loretta Betty Rosetta Angela hell yeah Dr. Bethune St. Jonas she the truth I do it for the culture no Oprah and the booze or Jamal told your ass she was a I'm to Told you, Lord Jamar. You just mentioned Lord Jamar. You just mentioned it. I'm trying to find out who the fuck with this pest in my house. Closed again. I wish you discovered my mom was slain for my sins. Here's the thing. Uh, one thoughts in this music, man. Like, I understand that you're trying to, um, man. You gotta, you gotta speak up and your diction and um reality bro like if you're gonna diss eminem you gotta be you emphasize your words more stronger you gotta show your intensity on that you're coming up with the best rapper alive man, in this era man when eminem dies every fucking one of you guys are gonna fucking 
worship Eminem. Oh man, Eminem, that, he's the king. He's the true king. You're calling Juice World the king. You're calling XXX Tentacion a king. You're calling Nipsey Hussle a king. Bro, Eminem's still alive, man. You gotta fucking appreciate that, bro. I'm telling you. You're just making black people hate Eminem. I can see what you're trying to do. Will is smart. You know, Nick, you're smart. You're smart. I see how your thought process goes. I understand, you know. I think this one is being smart and I don't know how black people will handle it, you know. I think mature black people African American come on man, American people man. Why can you say black well it's my fault man. American people with colored I'm sorry, my bad, I'm sorry. I was Marshall. I tried to give you an invitation. And the invitation's cancelled. But anyway, that's my thoughts about this. It was a good music. I I salute Nick for uh, keep making this music, man. Because we have something to listen to, you know. And that's hip hop, you know. Like it's a competition, you know. Like work hard, Nick. Like fucking people will bash it to stop. No, keep working hard. Keep fucking doing your shit. Craft your own style. You'll find your your music, you know, uh, good in your ear. You know, one day people will appreciate what you're working on. And people, you know, you know, will ride on your dick and say, Hey, I appreciate Nick because he's supporting his wife and fucking Eminem is just fucking bitter and heart broken hearted and get and super obsessed with Mariah. Bitch, shut the F up. Do you guys remember Ja and Benzino? Once you cross path with M and he diss you, you're gonna be dissed forever. Real talk. There's no saying bitterness. He gonna diss you. No matter what, and every year, every single day, there's no fucking backing out. It's no bitterness right there. He just gonna diss you. But anyway, this is plan. Check out my new bitch this coming weekends. Pam, pam, pam. And then get it. Make your rap, make your music, sing, and be at peace on yourself. This is plan again. Subscribe, like, and share. Peace.